so the interesting thing, um, you got the mic on? Okay. The interesting thing about, um, I think the important thing about today's session and all that is that um, this is the uh, very last figure session on the project when I think about it. So it's uh, um, historically quite a day to think that all of a sudden, you know, nine and a half years ago, 10 years ago, I was just doing the preparatory sketches. And I remember when the first canvas came in here and I'm putting on the first brush strokes. Of course, those were out at the cemetery because we worked on the first canvas out there until I got the door changed in the front. But I was thinking, oh my God, I got like five of these things to paint. And all of a sudden here we are. There's only one guy left. <laughs> this is it. The last hurrah, so to speak. Can't believe I made it. I know. So, um, really looking forward to that paycheck you promised me. Yep, yep, so am I. <laughs> yeah, all the hidden, all the hidden money. It's been interesting because we've been working at, um, I think initially, I think we wanted to get this post done in February because that's when we first started talking. I was asking what's, and then, yeah. then something else came up and then, and then it was like, um, it probably took about, uh, I want to say six weeks for, um, us to get a hold of this helmet just because of all sorts of little mm -hmm. logistics. When I first contacted uh, Doug Thompson out at the cemetery, um, they only had uh, Vietnam era and older helmets. And so then I started working with the guys right at camp and they put their feelers out and, and it took time to get through the paperwork. And uh, well, just not so much maybe the paperwork, but just be able to get the, uh, the helmet here. And, and so that was the other delays that we just couldn't get it. I'm just glad I had these days free. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, that turned out to be kind of lucky. Well, I mean, the goal here is, I mean, is just the sketching that we do today and tomorrow. And then obviously the photo shoot for all the detail and the color. And then I will immediately get, um, to putting this on the canvas because for Memorial Day Sunday, I'll have the little uh, color study um, out at the cemetery so people can see what the uh, painting will look like. And then I'll have a photograph of the stage the painting is at, you know, that day. So I want this, um, this figure uh, blocked in as, as well as possible by uh, Sunday next week, the 26th. So um, that's the goal. And so in the meantime, I've been kind of bouncing all over the canvas just to, you know, keep it moving along because the, the idea is to have it done by the uh, middle of, uh, well, beginning the middle, middle of July because then from there we have to take it to Duluth for the uh, laser scan. It'll be on display at the depot. And then um, we want to be ready for the September 15th dedication. So we're looking at hanging it in the building probably like no later than the third week of August, I would think we'll have her in the building. And then once uh, this one is fully cured out, then we'll finally get all, have all five of them varnished. And they have to be spray varnished because of the size. And so um, we've got, we already have the, that person in place. And uh, there'll be a new lighting system put in out at the committal hall uh, so you can view the paintings much nicer uh, at night in particular because the lighting system in the building is pretty bad for nighttime. I did a presentation out there a couple months ago in the evening for the exchange club and it was, it was hard to see him. But the new commissioner of, of the Veterans Affairs, I can't, I don't know his name, I've not met him yet. He's a retired Lieutenant Colonel and he was working with all the, um, what we call it, the armories and, and different buildings with the National Guard. So his whole thing is sustainability. 
So the first thing he said when he walked into the, he, he was finally here two weeks ago and saw the project for the very first time. And the first thing he says, we need to get some decent lights in this place. And then the other thing he was real curious about was a, a sprinkler system. There's no sprinkler system in, the, in, in that part of the building. Yeah. And I said, that's cool. The only thing we need to do is come up with a, uh, um, some kind of lightweight uh, waterproof backing we can put on the drop the paintings down put them on the back because on the front side if you hit the front ends of the water it's not going to hurt them because there's so damn much lead on these canvases <laughs> that the water is not going to go it's not going to penetrate and in that building the sprinkler system would be spraying against the paintings now granted a little bit would probably get behind so we want to prevent any moisture getting from behind where it actually would be able to touch the raw linen and then you'd have a little shrinkage problem and all that but by, but if we can just get the back ends covered lightweight that's no problem so we're going to work on that you could rig up a few dozen bottles of co2 and do a uh, shipboard fire suppression system you know suck all the oxygen out of the room well, you, you can, last you can, time i did public speaking you can tell <laughs> you can tell them about that if you want i mean I just, Fire goes off in my condo. It's all toast. Really? We've already had a uh, you know water pipe burst. Uh, not for freezing, just I don't even know why. In your condo? Yeah, that was a few months before I bought it. Uh, so everything got patched up fine, but you know, point being, the easiest way to do fire suppression on land is just to flood water everywhere. You flood water everywhere when there's live electrical circuits and half the things in your home are powered. Well, after witnessing the fire that happened in the house, um, you know, back in 1984, I mean, it was a question of um, the water damage was just as bad as the smoke or fire damage. So you, with this kind of work, you're screwed either way. Oh, okay. No talking? Okay. He wants to just listen to the sound here. Okay. Can you, uh, I'm trying to think for a second if you can count your um, right arm. 
I know that you hold it differently because of that type of weapon, but you're, um, yeah, and I can give it back down to put there. There we go. Because your elbow is out a little further there. I, I realize the drapery is going to change, but this gives me a little better feel for it. Wait, do the hands tomorrow because again you hold it you hold it differently. I mean what I'll do tomorrow is I'll, we'll kinda wrap this up and I'll do another one just to kinda get it locked in the brain here before I have to Does that up getting kinda warm by the way? I forgot to ask you that. Oh yeah. Okay. The uniform was clean when it came in, that's all we know. Okay.